Hi, I'm Victor Largil, Let's Adopt International. We are an animal rescue that specializes on extreme cases, animals that have been severely injured, neglected, and have chronic conditions far away from the reach of anyone else. Today, I need to ask for your help. On the 14th of March, the government of Spain declared a state of emergency. We had to adapt to the new situation. First, we lost most of our donors. It was terrible. We had to adjust to that. We had to begin again. Then we had to make a big effort in trying to tell everyone to show the world that we were still here, that we had commitments, that we had animals at the hospital that needed treatment, that we had two rescue centers full of animals that needed our attention. Then, when things started improving, we had problems of mobility. We were able to leave our homes, but not quite. So we had to adjust this to the way we were rescuing. Then, finally, we had a backlog of animals that are waiting to go home. Now, think about it. Right now, there are no flights between Spain or between Europe and the US. Right now, there are restrictions of movement between most of the countries within the European Union and within our own country. It's really difficult to go to some other cities, for example, because there are, there are restrictions, there are lockdowns, partial lockdowns in some of the places. A real mess. A real mess. But that doesn't mean that we are stopping operations. We have to adjust all along the way. For example, today, two animals went by road from Spain to the UK in one of the last rescue trips before Brexit. Right now we have two homes full of animals, most of them on wheelchairs, most of them with chronic conditions, and all of them looking for homes. For the past few days we've had an avalanche of people wanting to adopt our animals. But then, yeah, we have to tell them, adoption approved. But then we have to wait until the animal is going to be able to go home. We don't know how long it's going to take. I really hope it doesn't last for long. But at the moment, the situation here is very complicated. Today, I need to ask for your help. We need your help to continue saving lives. We still have animals at the hospital waiting to be released. We still have animals waiting to go home within our own country. Next week, there will be animals going to their homes in Europe. This is all a massive undertaking and sometimes I feel that my daily videos don't really reflect the emergency we are, we are on at the moment. Because of all of this, because I need your help to continue saving lives. I need to ask for your help. I need to ask you to come on board. I need to ask you to donate. I need to ask you to, to join in, become a recurrent donor, to become a one-time donor if you wish. But I need to ask for your help. You know us. You know what we do. You know how we do it. It's been 15 years saving lives. Today we need your help. Please donate. Help us continue doing this amazing work that is changing the life of so many animals, that is changing the world. Please donate. Thank you.